Today I'm going to farm a tier 5 static yellow zone uh, area for uh, combat fame credits. We have auto spec on. We're starting at 228,000 combat fame credits. And we're starting at 6.4k faction points. I have my 8.3 shadow collar set with 8.3 masterpiece satchel activated of course. And we're going to farm the elite mobs here. And we're going to see how much fame we can farm. Uh, it looks like the area is pretty empty, so um, I'm going to eat my roast pork here, and uh, we're going to see how much fame we get doing this. Now, see if this is better than the tier 5 zones. I'm going to try to pull as much as possible, which uh, I definitely can pull all of these. I could probably get those two wizards too, but I need to warm up first. And uh, the axe throwing ladies, they can be kind of a problem sometimes. So, I want to make sure that I dot them all up nice and easy, and then start area of effect killing them, or AoE killing I don't know why I said area of effect. You guys know what AoE means, right? Hopefully it's not your first MMO. Hopefully it's not your first time in one of these games. But if it is, now you know what it means. Okay, let's start seeing how much fame we're going to get from these bad boys. There we go, down they go, and I, I'm not paying- 21,000, okay, not too bad. Not too bad, really. Uh, let's see. I want big juicy pulls, big juicer pulls. Now, the glowing ones can be a little difficult. Let's try to pull the wizards first, and to the glowing one here. Go ahead and make sure they all collapse on me, on each other. Move them over here. Right now, my mount is the only thing taking damage. There we go. They're all nice and stacked. It's time to enter combat. And make sure that they all get dotted. Cast the healing spell in the middle of them. Shields up, weapons online. And dodging their attacks, especially that yellow one. And yeah, easy pe peasy. This is uh, this also costs a lot. By the way, I'm starting at 153 million silver, and that's gonna a lot of that's gonna be spent by the time this video is over. It's we're we're on a spending spree because I only have 18 days left of premium, and I'm probably might not ever premium up again because it's just too darn expensive. So I gotta I gotta make it and spend it while I can. So. We're going to be pulling even more mobs. Now, that's just two and a bear in the corner. I want bigger pulls. I want juicier pulls. Uh, that's a nice pull. That's a melee and two bears. We can combine it with the axe throwing lady here. And uh, the bears don't have much HP, only like 3.7k. So they're not really a big threat. Uh, they do knock me around a lot, which can kind of suck. But other than that, they're uh, <laughs> like, yeah, see, I'm basically full HP. It's not a big deal. Alright, take, uh, I targeted the wrong mob there. Ooh, that's a nice treasure, 20k. 20k drop. These, these yellow glowing ones are great. Now, you see the big earth mommy up there? This, this person? Yeah, we're not messing with her, okay? She, she's gonna buff everyone around her to deal insane damage, and I can't handle that. That yellow glowing mob gave me 38,000 fame credits. Look at my fame. It's, uh, we, we made 400,000 combat fame credits in... I don't know how many, what, three minutes? <laughs> Double that, and that's how much fame we just farmed. It's, isn't it nice? And I'm doing this on a weekday during off hours, and possibly during the slowest time of the game. That's why there's not a lot of people here constantly farming. That This place is usually not a good place to go because of all the other players. But right now, it's kind of dead, and I pathed wrong, so... <laughs> I'm actually not being efficient here, but whatever, it's fine. Okay, so that's going to be a tough pull. I'm going to pull these guys first instead. Get the nice... Ooh, that guy's glowing. Let's get him in the middle. There we go. They're all grouped up. I should be able to handle this. Maybe. Maybe not. Go ahead and heal there. Hit my W. And shields up. Let's go. Now, there's another player approaching. Looks like he's doing the same thing. Except he's a, he's a great axe user, which is fine. You can totally do this with great axe, by the way. Uh, no reason you can't. It's just slower than my, my setup. My setup's a little more powerful and a little more reliable. And I also have a Hellion Jacket if I get into trouble, but I should be fine. So, I'm not too worried about it. I'm gonna go just tank this rock. It's fine. And there we go. Managed to take them all down. Now, our health is a little low. That is a juicy group here. On the right, I really shouldn't engage with this low amount of HP, but I, I should be able to top myself off. This is going to be a difficult pull right here. So let's go ahead and get started. Drop one puddle, drop the second puddle, hit the W. I'll shields up. I have to dodge that. I can't tank all these attacks. And then we want to make sure... I actually miss puddled there because I thought the throwing axe lady was on the bottom. It's fine though. I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to Hellion Jacket here. Because I'm going to uh, tank a few hits and cast my W. They stunned me out of it. There we go. 
and we've already hit that 5k daily limit. I, I did some gathering earlier, so um, uh, ignore that pop-up. We'll, we'll, we'll see how much we earn in the end. And there's a giant that I've aggroed, but that's okay. I can just mount up and ri run from him. Or I could fight him, but I don't want to do one mob of pools. There's the Great Axe guy. He's doing his thing. He's getting a little chunked up there. And oops, I just pulled her. <laughs> that's going to ruin his pull. Jerk move on my part, but hey, whatever. Um... <laughs> They'll do it to me. After all, he is stealing. Technically, he's stealing my farm. All right, we got a giant. We got. I don't want the wizards. There's a wizard in my bottom corner that I, I don't want to deal with right now. All right, so this is looking like a nice, very juicy pull. I'm gonna have to heal immediately though, because I'm taking a lot of damage. Immediately, a lot of damage. We gotta kill some of these small guys. My mount is now out, so I might have to use giant boots to run away here. Uh, health is about half. We're going to have to use our Hellion jacket here shortly. That's a good time to use it, I think. We still have giant boots, or guardian boots, whatever you want to call them, and victory is ours. I'm going to focus on the wizard now because the axe-throwing lady is about to die. And yeah, this is just such good fame. It's such a good fame farm. So, so good. The treasure isn't that great, but look, we're already down to 152 million. We've hit 1.1 million combat fame credits. Let's go a little deeper. I want to do some really big pulls. There's a glowing guy. Uh, there's a melee guy here. Get the wizard. Two wizards. This is a very difficult pull. Let's uh, let's make sure I do my best here. Drop two puddles. Drop the healing circle. Hit the W. Try to kill the weaker ones as quick as possible. Don't tank. The one thing you absolutely can't... Oh, don't loot right now. Looting is bad right now. Uh, the throwing axe lady is very dangerous if she does her multi-axe throw and you tank those. That's the big damage deal. Not the one where she sweeps left to right, but the one where she targets the ground, like like what she's doing right now. That's the one you have to move from. You cannot tank that. But we managed to take them all out. I love this build. This build is just, it's too efficient. It's so good. Look at that. We just made 200,000 combat fame credits. Oh, we can pull all of these. Look at this. Watch, watch this. Watch this. Oh, yes. This is the big, nice juicer. But we even got stunned there. It's fine, though. Because we're going to just heal right back up. And now we're going to shield everything. And, yeah, we're still getting our butt kicked here a little bit, but it's okay. It's... <laughs> again, this build, it's just too good. It's just too good. The enemies can't survive this. And, yes, I could be even tankier. Like, if I'm not using a Crypt Candle, I could use um, a Face Breaker. I could use... Uh, the Avalonian shield, the Aegis. I can even use a regular shield. There's so many different options I can use. I'm just using the Crypt Candle because it makes clearing these mobs so, so much faster. Oh, so <laughs> Adolf. This guy's name is Adolf Hitlerado. <laughs> I don't know what to think about that one. But he got down just a bit ago. Hopefully, oh no, he's not even faction flag. All right, we do have a wizard in the corner here that I'm not really happy about. So, um... I would like to get uh, some curse puddles under him just to get him started so he can start melting. But other than that, uh, we should be able to take out all these melee guys. No problem. No problem at all. Alright. So. <laughs> there we go. Took him down. And, uh, yep. Oh, such a good farm, guys. And we're only eight minutes in. We're eight minutes in and we've made... <laughs> Oh, so much, so much. We'll, we'll 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 talk more about it at the end. These little baby mobs, little baby mobs. Let's get all of these guys. I want to get all of them in a nice pile. That's right. <laughs> this is the real way. Whenever someone tells you that there's a better fame farm in the black zone, show them this. Just show them this video. They'll get mad because I'm so bingy. Okay, that's bad. Uh, they stunned. They stunned me before I could get my E off. Which is really bad, which means I didn't heal from my E, I had to use my Hellion Jacket. That's why we have the Hellion Jacket. But yeah, show them this video and be like, okay, let's, let's see your Black Zone Fame Farm beat this. Because it won't. If they try to farm like this in a static Black Zone, they will get ganked and murdered. And my set that I'm wearing right now is worth 45 million, okay? And uh, they're not going to risk 45 million to make, what, 20% more fame? No, no one would be that dumb. I hope they're not that dumb. I seriously hope. Oh, that's a Earth Mommy. We have to avoid that fight. We can't win that. She will buff the hell out of those those mobs. Let's get these guys. Get them all nice and compact, and let combat begin. Oh, this is just too good. The fame is too good, my lads. 
So it's it feels dirty to fame farm like this because it's just like once you reach this level in Albion, it only it doesn't take that long. Like let, I'll tell you right now. Okay, yeah, my my set is worth forty five million silver. Um, partly because of the masterpiece bag. That's really like one of the big juicers and the mount and stuff. Uh, you can use a regular bear. You don't have to use this one, but uh, you can probably get away with 15 million silver for this kind of farm. Uh, oh, don't aggro her, but we can get these. And uh, you can get that on your third day if you play 10 to 12 hours a day. It's an MMORPG. It's meant to be a grind, but once you do the grind, you get to feel the rewards of all your effort. And holy crap, they knocked me away from my mount. I'm in danger. <laughs> I'm in danger. Not really, though. I'm fine. Like, they're gonna start melting here pretty quick. There's no glowing mobs, so we're not in that big of danger. We're just taking a lot of hits right now. I'm gonna grow big just to reduce some of that damage and uh, finish off this guy here. There we go. Oh, boy. Mmm, 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 mmm. Love that fame farm. Don't you wish you could fame farm this fast? Well, you can. You just have to fame up the one a good starting weapon that allows you to do this. I'm using the Shadow Caller. You could use Great Axe. You can use Dru Druidic Staff. Great Nature Staff. There is so many options that you can use to do exactly what I'm doing. I just happen to be doing it in the most efficient way. Like, the Shadow Caller is by far the highest, highest DPS. In 2023, this is the best fame farm in the entire game. <laughs> the best. Now, the thing is, too, is this specific area... You can't really come here during the middle of the day, especially on a weekend. You just can't do it, okay? If you come here on a weekend in the uh, during primetime hours, then you're... Uh, I'm trying to get these wizards grouped up. Hold on just a sec. All right, wizards, do your thing. Get a little closer. There we go. Uh, if you come here, like, there's going to be entire parties here. Sometimes gankers come to this area during, uh, uh, you know, primetime just to, like, <laughs> troll people, I guess. So you got to be careful with it. All right, let's, uh, let's start doubling these mobs. Now, you see the glowing guy. The cool thing about uh, the bear mount, too, I can sit on the bear while he dies to the curse. No other build lets you fight like this. So I can just drop a curse puddle under him, jump back on my mount, and just AFK if I want. Because he's going to die. He's just going to die. Like, this is one lazy way to do it. Even if you're undergeared, this is one trick you can use. Like, um, if I was to do, like, a zero to hero, I could use the bear to, uh, to kill mobs this way. And I think I made a video... Showing how to do that, do that in the newbie guide. This part of the map has a lot of wizards, which I don't really like, because the wizards aren't great for fame farming. They're okay. But the juicier parts are on the left side of the map, and I'm trying to get these wizards a little bit more compact. Just get them to move a little bit closer. And that's as close as I'm going to get them. Okay. There we go. Two puddles into E. Select the guy in the middle, or with the most HP, and press W. And then they all just melt. Let's see. There is another player clearing the left side of those camps, so may not have a lot of juicy pulls from those. But either way, we're still cleaning house. We're still getting it done. And my silver's down to 151 million now. Yeah, he's uh, clearing that out. See, he's using the great axe. He, he knows what he's doing. Sometimes there's a juicy pull up here. It looks like I can maybe do it. These are little baby mobs, but they, they're still juicy. They're still very nice pulls. Try to get that wizard a little closer. Try to get these. I'm, my mount's going to die before I can fully collapse all the wizards. So I'm going to have to dismount here and just fight them separately. It's fine. Just two, two separate puddles. Try to put one in the middle. And there we go. I already heard some of the wizards die. The wizards just die from the curse if they're the little baby ones. Which, they can be deceptive, because sometimes it's the big ones that are that have the low HP pool. Oh boy. Oh yes. Fame farming. Mm-hmm. And I can just dump this into any weapon I want and have fun immediately. I don't have to spend, like, weeks or months fame farming. It's, uh, it's just, it's just, it's easy. It's just so easy, guys. And remember, these little baby mobs, they die quick. So, like, don't feel afraid to, like, dismount and kill them. They're, they're a super fast farm, and it's good fame. Super good fame. Don't skip them. They even dropped a fame tome worth 20k. That recoups a little bit of the cost of the auto respec. See, they're like 6k each and they take a second. Okay, he's gonna do a juicer pull. Check him out. He, he got he got this nasty, nasty pull. Let's see. Look at that HP drop. He's gonna activate his... Oh, he went invisible. He couldn't do it. Oh, no. Well, yeah, he, he gave up. Shoot, I could do it. My build can do it. My mount's gonna die, so I'm gonna have to do it. 
Oh, no. He, he jumped back on there. Screw him. Okay, I'm, he probably got the tag, so I'm just going to leave. I'm just going to abandon that. I'm, I got to wait 20 seconds on my mount to cool down. Yeah, I'm not fighting that, dude. You can have it. There's an item over here. Yoink! Why didn't he loot that? That Or was that my drop? I don't remember, but that's another 18k, right? <laughs> Easy 18k. Yeah, he's clearing that out. That's why I normally don't go over this side, but sometimes you should still check because chests can spawn. Chests can spawn, and if you kill the enemies around the chest, that's a that's free loot. That could be uh, 100k, 30k, 50k, sometimes a million. I've gotten some juicy drops from the chests in this area, and they respawn every about 45 minutes. By the way, if you want to time the chest drops, it's 45 minutes. There's your tip for getting to the middle of the video, guys. Pull this dude, and let's group them all up on the one ranged mob who will die pretty much instantly. Two puddles, and then E. And you'll notice that I move around a lot. I'm not just standing in one place. This is because they'll use stun moves. They'll they'll kick you around, knock you out of your animations like that. Also knocking me out of my mount range, which kind of sucks, but it's fine. Yeehaw! <laughs> This build is so good at- you need to make sure to watch your food buff, we have 15 minutes left. And uh, if that food buff runs out in the middle of a juicy big pool, you're dead. Because you need that life- you need that lifesteal to survive. Let's grab all these guys, oh yeah, let's get them nice and grouped up. There is an axe throwing lady and the little baby one over here, uh, it's got me a little concerned. But I- you just puddle them once, make sure they, they start, you know, taking damage. It's not a big deal, I don't want to loot right now. Ugh. Now I'm losing some health, I'm gonna go ahead and Hellion Jacket here, try to get some uh, area of effect damage down, put a puddle on the little one there, make sure that these guys stay on their four stack, this one's about to die so I'm just gonna auto attack her down, there we go, now all we have is the one glowing guy left, we should be able to kill him with our Q and W combo, there we go, got him, easy peasy, pick up all the silver, cause we're, we're like I said, we're bleeding silver doing this, alright, Wizard. See, these are like small fry pools. I want juice pools. So I'm gonna skip those for now. Let them age a bit. Let them mature. That's too That's too hard. Remember, the earth mommies, especially the ones glowing, impossible. Don't even try. They'll, you'll just die too fast. Oh, there's another one. But we can pull these. We can also pull all of these. There we go, yes. Try to get them into a, a nice central area so they don't leash, they don't reset. There we go, that's a real nice stack right here. If I had an Australian accent, it'd be like, that's a real nice stack right here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Australians are the best. <laughs> oh, yes. And just watch them fall. Watch them go down. I don't even need my defensives. This one, the curse stacks fell off of her, so I gotta make sure I puddle her. Hit her with that W. This guy's gonna die to his curse stacks. And now we loot. Sometimes, sometimes you can get some really good stuff too. It's not just crappy tier four runes and and other junk. Sometimes there's some nice, nice loot. Let's see. Pulls, pulls, pulls. Pull these. Pull these. Pull. Oh, I got shoved back. You see that? They're being a little, little bossy. All right, glowing one. Battle start. Drop puddle there. Hit my, uh, my <laughs> shifty. This guy's jumping in to help me for some reason. I don't know, but it's... I don't know what he's doing. But whatever. It's fine. We got the tag. We're gonna get the credit anyway, so... I'm really not too worried. Go ahead and tag that one on the left. Get, get a puddle under her. Puddle the glowing one here. Hit the shield. <laughs> What's he doing? He's just, like, knocking stuff back and around. Oh, he got downed! Oh, no! He's trying to be a hero or something. What? What is his build, dude? What's he? Do? He's a gatherer. He, he has t flat tier four gathering gear, and he just ran up here. I don't know what he's doing. He's having fun though. He's living his best life. <laughs> what is up with that saying? I'm I'm <laughs> I'm hearing that a lot lately. Oh, I hope he lives his best life. Like, bro, are you an isekai? How do you pronounce that? Isekai? Isek? Isekai? Is it isekai? Is that how to say it? Look at Jerry up here on the hill. We got this Jerry. Is he gonna? What's he doing? He's he's watching me. This little oh he's a, he's a shadow caller too. He's his his gear's not as good as mine, but he 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 knows what's up. He's watching. 
he, he's watching his fellow shadow caller bro shadow caller it up i'm being real sloppy with my shadow caller though he's like oh this guy doesn't know party please no hell no bro you can solo this stuff you don't need a party let's see there's actually more people here than usual at this hour is it a holiday somewhere i wonder i don't know party please 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 carry me please please carry me like he can do this he can do exactly what i'm doing in his gear maybe he doesn't have the spec or maybe he's uh, afraid like he can't be afraid like the repair bill whatever if i get down it's 150,000. i'm not too afraid of that like if anything one pull <laughs> is a repair bill because of the <laughs> auto respec fees man like I, I showed my silver it was like 154 million when we started oh god it's, it's 150 million now <laughs> it's it's gotten lower don't worry we'll check the combat fame in a bit we got we still got like 10 minutes on our oh no 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 don't pull her do not now i could pull it into into this jerry guy is he's got kr next to his name does that mean he's from korea br is brazil ru is russia all right let's get these little boys they're not really little they're big men they're big burly barbarians <laughs> okay wizard you get a puddle it's like a, it's like oprah winfrey that american tv talk show host hostess you get a car and you get a car you get a puddle and you get a cursed puddle and you get a cursed puddle all right let's kill the two in the back that way we can solo the glowing one that's right this this guy glows does anyone know the uh, hidden meaning of that if someone's a glowy yeah that's right <laughs> they're in the van listening right now my own personal fbi agent mounting back up let's continue the pulls uh, it's strange that we haven't seen any chests yet i must have rolled up just as they got farmed or something i'm not i'm not maybe they adjusted the chests when they they messed up um the avalonian road chests or something no i didn't mean to do that oh that's bad okay i accidentally used the mount's ability which means I can't cast my Q spell for another 10 seconds, but that's okay. I can sit on this mount, and if the mount dies, whatever. But I have to wait for my Q's cooldown, like, because I can't ca I can't do anything right now. I can cast my E, but I need those puddles to start ticking, because that's going to give me life leech. Like, without the puddles, uh, this is a really, this is a bad, oh, <laughs> this is a real bad situation now. Okay, activate Hellion Jacket. We're, we're in deep. We are in super deep now. We have to start killing these guys. Okay, grow big, grow big. We don't want to get hit by the glowing one there. Get puddles under her. Good, good. Okay. Get those puddles. Never stop puddling. We got our mount back. And we have plenty of HP. This is the one you you have to dodge that attack. Just keep running. The puddles will do their job. Oh, man. <laughs> we almost bit the dust there, but hey, we still did it because this build is just... How is this build not nerfed? Why hasn't SBI nerfed this yet? I don't understand. It makes no sense. Okay, how much time we got left? We got seven minutes left, man. Seven minutes. Okay, let's get these and these. And we could have did. We could have added these to that pull we did, but because of the the accident where I fat fingered the the mount ability, uh, this is why you want to use the normal bear and not the faction bear for this exact reason. Okay, let's let's get those heals going. Let's puddle the wizard. He's over there, thinking that he's uh, he's totally fine. Not gonna get puddled. All these ladies are flipping out. They don't like standing in the puddles. I understand, you know, I, I get it. The puddle is made of curse magic. The puddles hurt. The Hellion Jacket hurts also. It sustains my life. I need it for sustenance. And I hate when I start using my curse beam and they interrupt it. I hate that so much. Look how much damage they do if I stand in that. It sucks. But down they go. Don't so get out of here, tier three bag. Whoa, he's on late. Wait, no, it's not. It's not late. It's only 7 o'clock. My sleep schedule's so scuffed up, dude. Powerful is has come online. Dude, this guy slays. This guy is an absolute chad. Look at his kills, dude. What is this? This is two days ago. Well, that that's not it. That, that's whatever, man. But <laughs> anyway, whatever. Okay, he's got his own YouTube channel. Go check him out. Toxic AF. Go, go watch him. Go watch him right meow. Those aren't elite mobs. Those are regular mobs. Get out of here. I don't want to farm you. Which way was I going? Did I go up this way? I don't remember. 
Okay, we got, what, five minutes left? <laughs> oh, man. The fame farm. The fame farm is just too good, guys. Let's pull all of them. Yes, get over here, though. I need you guys to rally up next to the axe throwy lady. Look at this juiciness. You know, I want to start, like, a cool service where I will do the- I, like, I will do these- oh, crap. Oh, wait, I, they didn't interrupt my spell cast, so I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fully healed. We're good. Okay, what I want to do, you'll have to join the Discord for this. Okay, guys, if you made it this far in the video, then you, you could probably- Oh, no, I got stunned in that. Danger, danger. I'm gonna heal it. I'm just afraid. I'm just being timid in this fight. Okay, so, if you made it this far, join the Discord. I want to start a thing where I can I can take you along to do this, and you just sit back and do absolutely nothing, and fill your mercenary journals, fill your generalist journals, but also just leech fame. How does that sound? I will kill all the mobs with my big ass pools, and you just sit back and relax and collect free experience, and I can get your specs to 100 in like a few hours, dude. Yeah, you you put on a flat four set. You sit back, and, and we see how, how fast I can fame farm up a, a whole set of gear for you. I would estimate maybe like a few hours. It wouldn't take that long. Because I'm going to show you here in like the next like couple minutes just how much fame I got. And yes, I'm using a satchel. Yes, I'm using auto respec and all that jazzy stuff. But it's it's still it's still way too good. Like It's so good, it's it's got to be nerfed in the future. Like they're already increasing the price of premium. Right? Like, to what? Seven... Is it 17 million? Yeah, it's like almost 17 million silver. It's it's basically right on there. Oh, we got... What the hell? That's only worth 900 silver? Keeper capes are cheap as hell. That doesn't sound right at all. That sounds awful. What are you doing in here? You're a flat four guy. Get out of here. Flat four guy and a mule approaching an elite zone. That's a scout. He's scouting for his Limhurst friends. I guarantee you. I guarantee you that's what that is. Dirty. So, so, so mean. I need this wizard up here. I need him a little bit closer to the pile, please. He's not gonna get closer, so I gotta I gotta start combat now. I gotta get these guys, like, cursed up. Get them all nice and stacked. Hit that heal E. Watch my food buff timer, because it's about to go down. Get the remaining curses on the big boys. Start hitting them with the laser beam before they knock me out of it. Alright, big boy's gonna go down. Glowing lady, she'll die soon after. Weaving my autos on her. Hitting her with the laser. We're gonna just tank this. Oh, that's painful. And remember, I'm constantly life-stealing. You have to remember, life-steal is what enabled this. Before... I don't know if you guys have played Albion online very long, but before life-steal food existed, the only way to farm like this was with a, a single dagger build, and you had to life leech with the E spell. And they've nerfed that so many times, but they don't nerf the lifesteal food. Look, this pull. This pull is gonna just... Mmm, this is the cream of the crop right here. Such a nice pull. And there's a player approaching. You might try to steal it. <laughs> Maybe not. Here's the thing, too. Like, if, another, if I see another player fast approaching to possibly steal my kills, I will dump all my cooldowns to deal as much damage as possible so that I get the kill claim. Which is kind of what I'm doing right now. Uh, what's he got? He's he's just a flat five arcane staff user. Yeah, he's doing something fishy. Like you can see that I get I get all the credit for this. He's not gonna get shit. But what he's possibly trying to do, and you'll see this a lot too, is he, now he wants me to help him. I'm not gonna help him. No, that's not how this works. Your gear sucks too much to do this. Get out of here. Muck around. <laughs> nice name though. I'll give you that. That's a fun name. Muck around and find out. Right? I don't know. Maybe. My food buff is nearing its lifespan. Okay, let's pull everybody up here. Let's get them all nice and organized. Get these wizards together. Have a nice little party. This is probably the last pull for the video. Possibly. Maybe. I don't know yet. We'll see. I'm taking a lot of hit damage. Oh, 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 oh! I'm down. Damn. I hit my button. I hit my button three times and it didn't go off. That sucked. That's okay. It's just 150,000 silver. It's, it's not that bad. My food buff still has a minute left. I have time to do this pull again. But something wouldn't let me cast my E spell. I don't know what caused it. That's fine. That's fine. We're going to just go over here and mount up in one second. We got how much time left? We got 45 seconds. We can do this in 45 seconds. 
Well, I have to actually auto-attack them so I can lower my shields. Okay, once again, we're gonna do this pull again. We're not gonna let them live for this. Okay, I'm gonna eat early before they start chain-stunning me. Whatever, activate my shields early. Get everything just thrown on the ground. I think they interrupted one of my pulls. They did? Okay, that's fine. We got, we got multiple pulls coming out. I'm gonna... Pools, not pulls. Like, I'm not pulling, I'm... Like a swimming pool, right? That's the word I'm, I'm looking for here. I'm gonna go ahead and Hellion Jacket just to kill these guys faster. Our food buff just ran out right in four seconds. We had time to spare. Look at that. Okay. We got some loot here. Got some loot. Got some loot. And there we are. There we have it. Let's look at the grand total now. Our loot that we got. I, I didn't count silver pickup because whatever. We're down to 148 million silver. So we spent like 6 million silver about. 184k in loot. That's going to cover our repair bill. I'll, I'll go ahead and teleport home. That's going to cost 40k. Um, <laughs> and then I'm going to show you the fame cr or, or the faction points we earned. And the combat fame credits that we earned in just, just 30 minutes. That's all. Only 30 minutes of, of farming. Not, not 1 hour. Not 10 hours. Not 12 hours. 30 minutes. All right. So the repair bill is 176k, that's because, uh, uh, I guess global discount, whatever, went down, maybe. Or my bag, like, I'm not used to the, the masterpiece bag, but anyway, there you go. 178k, we also teleported 40-something k, that's 200k, so, whatever, it's fine, I'm, I'm loaded, it doesn't matter. Okay, uh, faction points, we had, what, 6,000, I think? Now we're up to 15,000, so... That's about 9,000 or so. We made 9,000 in 30 minutes, which buys us one of these nice chests, which is going to give us some money and fame. We're going to go ahead and pop this 184k, 254k, but we also got 250,000 um, fame tome in fame tomes. So that's really, really nice. And finally, what you've all been waiting for, how much combat fame credits did we farm today? We're up to 4.775 million. And we started at what, 200k, 20k? I don't. It was, it was like 200k, 600. I don't remember, but we'll just say four million, four million combat fame credits in 30 minutes. That'd be eight million an hour. That's 16 million fame per hour. I don't know. If, I don't think that's better than the tier four static blue zone. A lot of my testing has shown that the tier four static zones are way better for fame, and they're easier too. Uh, so I think tier four statics are still better than tier five statics. But if you want a change of scenery go for the tier 5 statics why not anyway that's the video guys i hope you enjoyed this um i'm swole benji thanks for watching as always be a bro and stay swole and uh in in two hours i would be able to max a weapon from 1 to 100 by the way uh, i read every single comment feel free to leave me a comment i will read it um <laughs> if you say mean things youtube will automatically block it so i, I can't read those i have no way to access mean comments um, with that said as well, I make videos every day. Feel free to subscribe. I appreciate it if you do. Leave a like, you know, all that stuff. If this video really helped you out and you want to help me out financially so I can eat rotisserie chickens, then uh, click the join button down below. It's five bucks a month. I only get half of that, according to YouTube now, as of January 1st. Um, so yeah, um, I don't know. That's like that's like $2.50. Two, two, two members is one rotisserie chicken for me, okay? Well, not really because of taxes, but you get the idea. <laughs> there, You get access to private, more personal videos, uh, which um, there's a playlist for. Maybe in the pinned comment, maybe not. I don't know if I'm going to be doing that in the future. And finally, on the right side of your screen is a video you should absolutely click. So go ahead and click that right now. It's hand-chosen just by Google, just for you. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss tomorrow's video. Take care.